access to the Princefield servers. They could be crucial to my lawsuit. Well, it's not the SEC's job to try your case. The servers have already been impounded for our investigation. I can subpoena them. Well, go ahead. So I'll have to wait in line. We got first crack and you know it. I was hoping for a little cooperation. I'm not about to let my agency get drawn into a civil suit against Channing McLaren. You're gonna have to wait. How long? Uh, 12, 14 months, best guess. That's unacceptable. <sighs> well, look, maybe I can get you the backup tapes. That won't work. My technical advisor needs the hardware to conduct his analysis. Analysis for what? To determine if Naomi Walling actually leaked the information or if it was stolen by an outside source. I don't care about the leak. My job is to clean up insider trading. Your job is to issue parking tickets. Princefield has already paid over $15 million in fines. Congratulations. They find that in their sofa cushions. They're a $40 billion company. Our investigation is ongoing. My client's mother killed herself. How do you think the public will feel when they find out that you're standing in the way of her getting some measure of justice? I'm not going to be intimidated by you, Miss Hughes. Sorry. Bennett Harrishoff sent you here. He claims he turned over the Naomi Walling investigation to your agency. Is that true? Yes. Harrishoff contacted us after he suspected Walling and her fund of placing improper trades. What did you find? Uh, the nature of the fund's returns was highly unusual. Well, if you knew there was insider trading, why didn't you do anything? The investigation's ongoing. We aren't finished. Is that the best you can do, Mr. Reinsdorf? It's the truth. Maybe. But what will the public think? Channing McLaren blew the lid off information the SCC already had, but didn't act on. That is completely unfair. Nevertheless, perception is everything. What's that? It's just a little press release I've prepared. It exposes the criminal inaction on the part of the SEC in regards to insider trading at Fund 23. There's a reporter at the Times waiting on my call to print it. Fuck you. I'm not looking to sink you. I just want you to do something for me. And what would that be? Get me access to everything you know about the Walling investigation. How about narrowing it down a little bit? All right. Specifically, did you find any evidence that Naomi Walling was in communication with Channing McLaren? Well, offhand, I couldn't tell you. We have thousands of recordings of Walling's communications but we were just looking at insider trading. Do you still have the recordings? Of course. Good. Go through them. Get me anything that will help me in my case. Otherwise, first thing tomorrow, your name's on the front page. I will see what I can find. I get the fuck out of my office. Well, this is of no concern to me, Miss Parsons. Our investigation of Naomi Walling followed standard protocol. We dotted every I, we crossed every T. Betty Hughes approached you already, didn't she? You two came to some sort of arrangement? <laughs> oh, you lawyers, y'all you think alike. Always some conspiracy no there's only one reason patty wouldn't have leaked this information to the press whatever it is you're implying i don't appreciate it you cut a deal she sat on the information and you helped her with her case you are way off base yes miss hughes did approach me and i explained it to her like i'll explain it to you the sec's investigation is ongoing 
We had no intention of taking action against Naomi Walling until we understood the full scope of her illegal activity. With all due respect, that's bullshit. Tell me, Naomi. Bennett, calm down. Who is this new guy you're seeing? It doesn't matter. It fucking matters to me. You're married. Did you really think that I wouldn't start seeing someone else? Do not fuck with me, Naomi. My daughter's coming home soon. I have to go. Do not fuck with me. Naomi Walling was having a relationship with Herschel. And it sounds like it didn't end well. Do you have any other conversations between them? No, this is the only one we picked up. I think you'll agree that I've given you everything you asked for. This call is a silver bullet for Ellen Parsons. If she gets her hands on it, your case is sunk. Then she better not hear it. Oh, she won't. I deleted the call from our records. And I'm leaving the only copy with you. Thank you, Mr. Reinsdorf. I trust your friend of the Times won't be running the story. No, he won't. Your total incompetence will remain just between us. <laughs> 